circles. I don't think you can because we don't have what the answer would be in fraction circles. But it's a pretty simple problem because the word of means to multiply one half times three eighths. Before we go any farther, let me reiterate, this is not adding or subtracting fractions. You do not do not write them up and down. that an awful lot from kids. You do not write them up and down. You write them across as they are. And the simple little rule for multiplying fractions, it's really just a two-parter. Number one, you multiply across. And number two, you have to do what we in the math world like to call simplify, which means if it can be reduced, we have to reduce it. So looking at the fraction I already have here, this problem, there is nothing easier than to do with fractions than multiplying. Multiplying is really the easiest thing because you simply just go multiply the two top numbers together for your new top number. Multiply your two bottom numbers together for your bottom number, and voila, as long as it's simplified, that's your answer. Is 316 simplified? Yes, it is, because there is no number that goes into both 3 and 16 that you could divide them by to make them a smaller fraction. Mostly because 3 is a prime number. If it's a prime number, if any one of them is a prime number, you are not going to be able to change it. Victoria. Um, for like if it says find one half of three eighths, well, how do we know if it doesn't mean like what well, one half of three h is or to multiply? I think that would be the same thing. Half of three h is three sixteenths. Multiplying that or saying half of to multiply means to multiply. Of means to multiply. Just like this. You know, if it was a whole number, what if it was find three-fifths of ten? Well, before, you would do the whole, um, draw a little, you draw a diagram. You don't have to do that anymore unless it's a story problem. Three-fifths of ten just means three-fifths times ten. But the problem is ten is not a fraction. But I can make 10 a fraction by, Andrew? Putting uh, 10 over 10. Not 10 over 10, because that's 1. Um, make a fraction. 10 over 1. There you go. Okay. By putting over 1. Any whole number can be made a fraction by putting it over 1. And then again, just multiplying across, 3 times 10 is 30, 5 times 1 is 5, but this is not simplified because 5 can go into 30, how many times? 6 times. 3 fifths of 10 is 6. 3 fifths of 10 is 
or ten dollars would be six dollars. I think they're getting all crazy out here. This is something super fun and exciting. Um, how about this? Let's do one where we actually have to three fourths times two thirds. Three fourths times two thirds. Just going to multiply across. If I do that, I end up with 3 times 2 is 6. 4 times 3 is 12. That was a pretty easy one. How do I reduce that? Most of you already know it's a half, but if I didn't know it was a half, Sam, I would. Um, see if you can divide by 2. Yeah, you could divide it by 2. Well, if I do that, though, I get 3 over 6. But that's still not reduced because. What goes into 3 and 6? Or 3. If you divide those both by 3, you get 1 over 2. I could have skipped kind of that whole step if I would have divided 6 over 12 by 6 right off the bat. 6 divided by 6 is 1, 12 divided by 6 is 1. Picking up on laying down on that one. Let's see what else is there. Uh, how about this? Um, oh, what if I get 8 twelfths? If I ask you to reduce 8 twelfths, reduce. You always want to try to figure out what the biggest number you can divide both of these by. The obvious one is 2, but there is a bigger one. So you'll still get the same answer, it'll just take a little bit more. Jacob? 4. Right, you can divide them both by 4. If you divide them both by 4, you get 2 thirds. And then you check two thirds. Well, you can't divide it by anything except one, and that won't change anything. If you would have taken eight twelfths and divided it by two, which you can do, you get four over six, but that's still not reduced because two goes into both of those again, which is two thirds. So you always want to try to use the biggest number just to make your life a little shorter and a little easier. What else? How about one more? What is 2 times 5 twelfths? 2 times 5 twelfths. I'll let you do that one first and then I'll tell you what you get. 2 times 5 twelfths. We get an answer for 2 times 5 twelfths. Colton? 10 twelfths. Yeah, but that's not reduced. You put this over oh, 1, you get 10 over 12. What number goes into both 10 and 12? Sam? Uh, 5, 6. Or wait, no. Um, Cut them in half. Yeah. Divide by 2, you do get 5, 6. Voila. You are now experts in the field. 